going on guys? Greg here. I have a Corbanth K4 saver for you guys today. So there you go. Don't worry about the bubble strip. I'll get to that later. But uh, but yeah, so Corbanth sent this over for me. He uh, he helped me do an install on his DV6 and I also decided to do an install on one of these. So I grabbed one of these while I was at it. And uh, yeah, this is Obi-Wan's episode four, Inspired Hilts. Usually the uh, shroud here comes black. But uh, you can take a little bit of sandpaper to it and, and take it down to whatever, you know, black, medium, or just no black at all. Uh, whatever weathering you want. And I decided to take all the black off so it's more of an episode 3 hilt because personally that's my favorite. Um, the saber itself is really good. It was, a, it was a pretty easy install. The only um, issue that I've seen with all the K4s is that this right here uh, does not, even when you tighten it all the way down, when you screw it all the way in, it's not actually screwed in. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on that in a few. I just uh, finished it up wanted to get the video out to you guys because this is actually going to be for sale. So internally, we have a Nano Biscotti V3. We have a Darth Rio chassis. We have an 18650 lithium-ion battery, 3.7 volt. We have two, actually no, we have one Obi-Wan font. It's Obi-Wan uh, Revenge of the Sith HD by Shamim. And what I did like he usually does is I took the font and I broke it up into two separate banks. So I put, you know, swing one through eight on one bank, you know, swing, you know, nine through 16 on the other. And same with the uh, clashes. And then I did the same hum, power on, power off, and, and different boot sounds. Um, like I said, I had a Darth Rio chassis, the seven ace, because it's a really, really tiny saber on the inside. And um, internal recharge port. And let's see what else. Oh, and for activation, don't worry about the bubble strip. Um, for whoever buys this, what I'm going to do is I, just like if you've ever seen the uh, the Let's Build a Graflex video series, is um, Matt, when he was doing that, he drummled out right here. Oh, no, sorry. He drummled out here. If you take out this right here, one screw. Take that out, you can drummle out that section, which actually allows you to twist this freely. Because uh, right now, if you look there, it, it sits in the hole. Um, it lets you twist it freely, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get home this weekend before I ship this out, and I'll uh, drum that out, and then you'll be able to twist this freely, which will actually allow the uh, bubble strip to sit into place, because right now, when you close it, it sits around. So I prefer that over magnetic tape or gluing it in place. Um, it allows you to actually remove the bubble strip if you want to, for whatever reason, and I just think it, it's a nicer option than using magnetic tape. So, let's see. Oh, and then your activation. Uh, you have two greeblies right here. The front one is your activation, and then your back one is glued in place, so that's, that's solid. Uh, because of the way that there's, um, it's usually two buttons if you want to do a higher end board, like, you know, like a prism. Um, so you can't have two buttons, but I decided to wire just one. Uh, I was going back and forth if I wanted to do one or wire both. Uh, but because of the way the board sits in here, it's a really tight fit as it is, and if you wire both, it's just it gets it gets a little bit messy. Uh, so yeah, your forward is your is your activation and power off and switching and everything, and uh, and yeah, and then also the blade plug is just to kind of show you the blade color, which is oh that's what I forgot is a royal blue green with white flash on clash, which gives it a very like light blue uh, a blue green, which is is really nice. Um, the blade plug, this is not going to come with it. The blade uh, is going to come, or there's going to be no blade or anything like that, so it's going to come as is, minus the blade plug. Um, no charger, no blade will come with it either. I can add in a charger if you want. Uh, we can talk about that if anyone wants to buy it. Um, let's see, and blade retention, just so you guys know. So this shroud actually unscrews opposite. And what there is is that slides down there. And then right there is your blade retention screw. Uh, be careful when you're taking this out because let's make it the right size. There we go. So when you take that out, it is a let me show you guys. It's a very what the heck is it? Very tiny retention screw. Uh, so it's very easy to lose. Um, if you guys lose that, I can tell you which one you need. And then the other thing is. I use Shamim's mod where the LED is right there. Um, the lens isn't on yet either just because I haven't put that on yet. But the lens will be glued in place and then the LED sits just like that. And yeah. And so you pop the blade in. Um, 
put just snug with the lens. And then that will screw in. Like I said, it doesn't go in very far at all. Um, finger tight. Side. Let's back up. And then if you keep twisting it to tighten it, that'll actually take out the entire upper part, which you don't want to do because, like I said, the LED is mounted uh, directly in here. And if you do that, it'll twist the wires and break something. Uh, so you do not want to do that. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything. If uh, So yeah, we'll get it fired up. And like I said, this is, uh, it is Revenge of the Sith HD Obi-Wan by Shameen. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. Switch banks. Hello there. I said this is the other um, eight swings and clashes. And power off. Uh, like I said, also, like I've told everyone, is that the sounds are actually quieter on here. Um, it is a 20 millimeter speaker, but it is quieter regardless because of the fact that uh, I'm in a dormitory, so I, I always turn the sounds down. I like you guys to know that. So uh, the sound right now is actually set on two. So when you get the saber, whoever ends up buying it, um, it will it'll be it'll be much louder and it'll it'll be a lot nicer. So uh, yeah, that is about it. Like I said, I will before I ship it out, I will have this drum without so this can can turn freely and you can lock everything in place. This right here will be locked in place like it should, and your your lens will be on, which like I said, I just it's it's right there. I just don't have it on yet. So uh, so yeah, I will put this up on Facebook, and I will uh, hopefully have someone buying it soon. So thank you guys, and I'll talk to you later.